So we're all the way over where a lot of people take pictures, as you can see. And um, let's see if we can do some Zigbee over here from way over there, probably behind those trees line you can see there. And I have an antenna set up. Let's see if we can do the Zigbee thing on a battery powered Zigbee stick with a directional antenna. So the red light we can control through Zigbee to MQTT. This is using VPN to the house because my Wi-Fi does not reach here. And let's see, we get 36 absolutely insanity. 40 LQI and it just works and there's some kid being murdered at the freaking playground. I hope it's not mine. So during the holiday, we had the opportunity to go to an area, deserted island far, far away and do some Zigbee testing out in the Matrix. And yeah, there's some firmware out there that now supports the higher output numbers that you can get from that CC2652 chipset. Or if I keep saying it, 2562 or whatever, shoot me, I don't care. It's that cool chipset because it's just cool and stuff, right? Well. Now there's even some easier ways to do some router firmware that supports that same high output. And well, what did we do? Got to put some high gain antennas that are directional and how far can Zigbee go? I mean, well, let's just see. Well, let me go run through and I'll run through a couple little setups of how we did some stuff and I promise I'll try to be really quick about it. as a post why not all right so we have antenna done and all the way in to network jacks try doing up here So due to the low power, this thing does continue to go off if it thinks there's nothing, no load, so the battery pack shuts off. So if I keep pushing the button, it does stay alive. We do have a switch here to turn the red light on and off just to see if things are alive. we 40 LQI, so we're getting 60 LQI, but we're on the back side of the antenna. But you can see it does turn the red light on and off. Now we're only that far from the antenna. So we'll go see if we can get a little further. So we got 167. We're not directly in line though. 178, 174. And why I'm toggling this is just due to get new updates of the LQI every time. You look so happy. Ready? 
Can I use this in the video? Okay, come on. From all the way down there, that's crazy. We still got 47 and the light still goes off and on. 43, 47. Let's see if we can get a little higher. 58, we we'll point a little better. 58. Man. Anybody at the playground today? You think? Anybody at the playground today? One vehicle. Let's see if we can do some Zigbee over here from way over there, probably behind those trees. And let's see, we get 36 absolutely insanity, 40 LQI, and it just works. And there's some kid being murdered at the freaking playground. I hope it's not mine. So we went mobile with it. And in the Zigbee antenna, it's somewhere probably behind those trees. And I currently just have the panel antenna sitting on the dash with probably not the most optimal position. since we are in the vehicle as well but hey we have a 47 lqi good enough for me and you can see i do have this zoomed in if we go to the dash we can see we have that led and we can turn the red led on and off and it's pretty quick so no delay there. Now, one thing I did want to see, because I knew someone was going to ask, and I, quite frankly, I wanted to know the answer myself. Can we pair up, this is a little GLAD Opto LED strip. I believe this is a EFR chipset, which is fine. I just want to see if it will route. And then I've got a motion sensor. So can we make a mesh network remotely using the same antenna? So we'll do a permit join all. And we'll plug this in the USB port on the truck and we'll put it in pairing mode. So I've got it blinking and let's see if we get an interview. <laughs> that's freaking amazing let's see if it finishes the interview successfully configured and boom now one thing I do want to try and I'll turn down the will it work by itself without the panel antenna no It did turn off, but it's pretty well not gonna work. Hey, I've got an LQI of zero. It's just, oh, I got it to turn back on and turn back off. But man, it's it would not work that well. It's got an LQI of zero. It's very, very slow. All right, let's get our router going back again all right we got our lqi back 25 i've moved it whatever and then devices and let's see if we have our this routing back again and you can see it's back to turning on stupid fast now, can we do an interview 
of a motion sensor, battery powered. So I've got a little Mohs thing. I think that's what it is. It's probably gonna come up as a two-year one. So we'll do. We already. We already. Let's do the disable join, and then we'll do permit all again, and we'll hold this down. Then you press the button. All right, we're pairing. Let's see if we get. Boom! Look, starting interview, and we have our Tuya motion sensor. Yeah, I know you probably don't see me excited about Tuya too much, but hey, whatever. This was just a little motion sensor that I had. Successfully interviewed. And I should have. So you got to hold this Philips Hue for five seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. We are getting different lux values and even the different temperature values. You put it up in the sun and there's our different lux value. Kind of awesome. And then it does show occupied and it shows clear. Let's see if we can get motion. Boom, we get motion occupied. <laughs> so, there you have it. We got a cool little motion sensor network from the vehicle all the way from the house behind those trees using the little Zigbee coordinator router thing attached to USB. Parking citation. Fine, fine amount, $30. Okay. I'll take it. I don't care. What for? Parking. For what? Parking media expired. But it's free on the weekends on the holiday and yesterday and today. You just threw something on the ground. I don't know. Everybody everybody got tickets all down I'm here. I'm at the fucking website. I'm going to fight it. Hit that subscribe button on oh, oh, Julia Thomas. Thank you.